Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and today, obviously, I'm going to be doing some work on my Outlaws, my Dark Zone Max Outlaws. I've got a pair of them, and I've been given some neat parts for them. Somebody sent me a pair of holster mounts for them, super cool, just connects to the bottom rail there. Uh, and then I have some 3D printed kit that I was given by X Fox Gaming. I have replacement cylinders with X's on them, I've got replacement side panels, um, lower rail, which I might end up not replacing because I, well, I could use these, I suppose. Um, and some and extended muzzles. So uh, we're going to take these apart and we're going to decide, I have to decide which parts I'm actually going to use and which parts I'm not going to use. But uh, one way or the other, it needs to get taken apart to get painted. So we're going to do that. down to their shells. Uh, this part will get painted bright orange. Uh, these parts will all get painted black. I'm opting to use the original plates and paint them black just because injection molded parts are more durable than 3D printed and there really isn't any functional difference between the originals and the 3D printed ones and so I'm gonna stick with the originals and just paint them since I have the paint. Uh, the internals I'm not going to be modifying. There are both heavier and lighter springs that exist. There are various barrel upgrades that people have come up with, but I'm not going to be using these in uh, that level of competitive play, probably. I'll probably be using them in my arena, if anywhere. And uh, they should work just fine for that. So that's the plan. Now to put it into effect. Right, the paint jobs are done. And I'm quite pleased with how that came out. Very simple, nothing fancy, just a uh, coat of orange, because that's what I like. I might at some point tape this off and paint it black, but for now, I like, I like a lot more orange. So that just leaves us with uh, needing to reinstall the internals. So let's get on that. I think they came out really quite fantastic. I've got the holster mounts on there, though the uh, the Outlaw will fit in many standard holsters. There is also a 3D printed holster for it, but since someone had sent me the holster mounts and I do have holster plates, uh, I decided to go with that. I am actually planning to build a, a, a new set of holster plates in the near future. Uh, the current ones I have were built for my Pew Pew. They're on larger plates. They have mag holders, and obviously this does not need mag holders. So I'm going with a simpler, lower profile one for these. It'll be, uh, I already have most of the parts. I just need plates, either plates to go on the new thigh regs or ones to replace my old one. I haven't decided which to go with yet, so I'm still still looking around for that. So there. There it is. They are still hitting what their stock numbers are, even with the new 3D printed cylinders. The cylinders came to me from um, X Fox. So did the barrel extension. Uh, I didn't end up using the rest of the hardware replacement, though I did use the um, 
safety delete because I, I <laughs> while assembling it, it kept getting in the way and I decided I didn't want it anymore. So I did in fact install. There goes that big train. Swamp Cat is on the run. Noise. Anyway, I hope to use these in an event in the near future. Um, they, uh, these would be something I would actually be willing to use with, say, a shield loadout, because they do meet all the requirements for shield use in all of the various events that I go to, but have a lot more power than hammer shots. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully I'll get to show them off sometime soon. But for now, my thanks to Xbox Gaming for giving me this kit. I did attempt to buy it, but they spotted that it was me and canceled the order because they were coming to my house in three days anyway. And they just gave it to me like you do. They are awesome people. Links to their stuff will be down in the description. Xbox Gaming, wonderful, wonderful people. So there you have it. My thanks to them and my thanks to you for watching. Wow.